I think the way we can increase the participation is really again building trust with the patients. I think patients, um, again, a lot of minority populations have a mistrust in the healthcare system because of prior um, Tuskegee experiments and African Americans with syphilis and other, and there's been other instances as well. I think once we again establish trust, we reassure the patient that they're not um, given a medication, you know, that's going to harm them intentionally, that we're here to help improve their health outcomes as well as maybe other outcomes like disability, pain scores, or maybe psychological parameters that maybe then they will be more willing to participate. I also think that it's important to have um, investigators that look like them. Patients want to see themselves mirrored in their physicians. And so if they have minority investigators who are being included in these trials. I think that will give them the confidence to participate, but also they know they have someone that they can speak to, they can relate to, they can um, ask questions to. And again, it may just be a comfort level for the patient. It's not that, you know, obviously one ethnic group of physician is better than the other, but again, it's really about what makes the patient feel comfortable enough to participate in the studies. And it is important to have these patient populations in these studies to reflect the real patient population out there when we're looking at drug outcomes and the effects of drugs on um, RA patients.